I'm Amanda DeBoer. I currently teach grades one and three humanities here at BASIS. Um, this is my second year at BASIS and I, had, I taught grade two humanities last year. So I'm very familiar with the humanities curriculum. Um, in humanities, our students are immersed in the English language. They have ample opportunity to practice the four basic uh, English skills, which are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Um, as you can see in the classroom, there are a lot of English skills posted, posters, um, a lot of opportunities for students to see and use English daily in the classroom. As far as learning in the humanities classrooms and the English classrooms um, in the primary school, we do build those skills so that students are given them a great early foundation in the academic classroom. In grade one, we focus primarily on phonics and high frequency words. High frequency words are words that are just frequently found in reading. Um, and phonics are letters and the sounds they make and how those um, sounds and letters work together to form words. Having a good understanding of those skills helps students to build um, fluency, build comprehension. So knowing all of those, the phonics and the high frequency words helps students to build confidence in their reading skills. They also are given a lot of opportunities to read just so that they understand reading. They start to work on decoding skills, reading fluency, all of those things to help them as they continue in their academic career. Again, giving them that strong early foundation so that they are able to move into more complex things as we move along. As we move to grade two, we still work on phonics, but we move more towards the proper spelling of words so that students are able to understand how words are actually spelled, which helps them in their writing as well. Vocabulary words are also emphasized more in grade two. Um, just so students are able to build that academic vocabulary, again, building those academic words. Again, decoding and fluency, as they have that early foundation, we're able to move more towards um, reading comprehension as we move into grade two. Our curriculum helps them to have all of those components of the English language in their daily life. So they have vocabulary in their stories, they have spelling words in their stories, they use writing skills. All of those are part of their daily stories. Again, continuing into grade three, we have that early foundation set, so we're really able to get more into the English language. The mechanics of grammar, um, writing, reading skills, really understanding, comprehending what they're working on. We start to go into higher level thinking with them, really asking what they're learning, asking them higher level thinking questions so that they really do have to think critically. Um, teaching them to become critical thinkers as well as good academic students, giving that early foundation as well. As we move into grades four and five, classes move from 85 minutes to 50 minutes. The 85 minute classes do incorporate English and social studies, whereas the 50 minute classes are spe subject specific classes. So this again enables us to really delve into the English language, the grammar concepts and all of that. Students are becoming much stronger readers, much stronger writers as well. Again, in the classroom through all of our grades, we use a variety of teaching methods to really help to reach all of our different students and all of their different levels. Um, we use whole group instruction, small group instruction, individual one-on-one. -on -one. We use centers, we use games, songs, vocabulary, um, writing, spelling, reading, all of that's incorporated into their daily classrooms to give them that foundation. Every classroom has a word wall. These are visual displays for the students to help them understand and to see what the concepts that they're working on in the classrooms. Each word wall is different based on the levels and the abilities of the students. You can see in our grade one that the words are the phonics skills that we've been working on. The cards are student done, which gives the students ownership of their own work and it allows them to see. They're able to refer to these words and use those in their writing. As we move up, you'll see on the word walls more academic vocabulary, vocabulary words, more complex spelling patterns as well, but all of the word walls are there for students to see. In every classroom, there's also a classroom library. These libraries allow students to choose books, whether it's for dear time, which is drop everything and read, or just extra time. This helps to develop a love of reading and helps again immerse the students in the English language. One of the skills that we use, or one of the things that we often do in the classrooms are centers. These center-based activities allow us to meet the needs of each student individually. And as students are working with, in partners or small groups, teachers are able to work individually with students or in small groups again to help them reinforce the concepts that they're learning. 
There's a variety of centers. There's games, there's word building that they can do using different formats. Um, there's different magnets, there's different toys, um, or a lot of different opportunities for them to learn. There's also the a way that we can make these self-checking so that students are able to reinforce their own learning and check to make sure that they're doing things correctly.